In today's review, I'm doing sort of a re-review of the Hikvision E2000 to see what a year worth of usage has done to my drive and then to do a full temperature test with no cooling. Morning, welcome back to Turbo Tortoise Tech. My name is Wookie Triple XL, and in this review, I'm having a look at something that I've already reviewed, so I'm doing something a little bit different. The E2000 series has been out for about a year. I bought the 512 gig NVMe about a year ago on a Black Friday special for a whole thousand bucks. And basically, after a year of using it, my speeds have not really slowed. I would take that initial write speed on the large file types with a pinch of salt because something random has happened to Windows in the last update and this is happening on all my drives. So I don't think it's this one specifically that's doing that. But with the 2TB that I was given by Hikvision for my test bench, I did something a little bit different. What I did was I popped it in this here in my unit without its heatsink. It does come with a little heatsink and screwdriver. This particular little heatsink and screwdriver with a thermal pad so you can attach it to the drive if you were so inclined and I think it would be a good idea. However, it does actually not thermal throttle and the drive only hit 70 degrees. If it hits 80, that's when they step back in thermal throttle. So it's a full 10 degrees under where it should be for thermal throttling. And as a result, I experienced no thermal throttling. And what I did to test this was just perpetual crystal disk mark tests. So I just ran them simultaneously for 30 minutes. I just kept running crystal disk mark and then it peaked at 70 degrees. And it actually took quite a while to get there. It hovered in the mid 60s for the most of the time. Uh, and it was only sort of in the last five minutes that I saw it actually hit the 70 degree mark. I have been using one of these as my editing and gaming SSD and it's actually gone through a lot of abuse in the last year. I generally fill up about 250 gigs worth of media pretty quickly and then transfer it off onto my backup drives once I'm done working with it. So all in all, honestly, these drives can take a lot of abuse. They can get beaten up, punched around and uh, assaulted by the rock himself and they will still carry on working pretty well. I have to say, Hikvision is still one of my absolute favorite brands. I do suggest it quite highly, especially because of that five year warranty and then the noticeably good, stable, long term performance that I have been getting from my drive. I mean, that drive, I would say, has probably done about eight, nine hundred gigs worth of transfer in the last six months. So it, it, it's been abused just, just a little bit. And these things just carry on ticking. There's absolutely no problem with it. So thank you all so much for watching this little re-review of the E2000. If you were, are interested in more information and a complete rundown of the Hikvision SSD and memory products, then I will put a little link to that above. Until next time, guys, please keep well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the flip side. We can't stop, we can't stop.